My name is Poonam. When I was 13 years old, I moved from India to Nottingham. I used to take my lunch box prepared by my mom to school. The kids made me feel alienated about my own food. So I'm heading out in Bristol with my team looking for three contributors from different countries preparing their favorite dishes. My full name is Putri Fariza Elina, but everyone calls me El. I'm, I'm from Pakistan, as, uh, I'm from Karachi. It's uh, one of the biggest cities there. My name is Sultan. I'm at the glorious age of 26. I'm from Malaysia. I am in a town called Subang Jaya, which is about half an hour from Kuala Lumpur. So today I'm, I'm cooking dal chawal. Dal chawal is a Pakistan dish. Uh, dal means lentils and chawal means rice. It's basically in Hungarian it's just called rakot kumpli, which is like, if you translate it literally, it's just layered potatoes. Today I will be cooking the I wouldn't call it like a traditional lunch. It's called curry mee or mee curry. So basically the way it goes, you just lay your potatoes, eggs, season in, and then you make a sauce. You can get it almost anywhere in Malaysia. It's literally just broth and curry uh, with some noodles. This is the one that I used to get on birthdays. This is the one that I used to get when I passed like any, like any, any exam pretty much other than languages. You know, there's something cultural about, you know, your food because that's what you grew up with, that's what you love, that's what your parents used to cook for you. So I do miss it. To be honest, I love everything that my grandma and my mom cooks. Like, I'm sure, you know, I have my favorites and, you know, if it's just like Google Hungarian food, like, that's probably not the first one that you would find, but that's one of the easiest ones. So that's why I know how to cook it. And I didn't expect coming into university and I'm thinking, oh, I have to prepare my lunchbox, you know, but... It's, it's important to have a I've tried fish and chips here and poutine in Canada and it's an amazing food. I start loving it. I, like, I eat fish and chips almost every day now. And I want people from here to try my food as well. Now we are leaving our contributors and replicating the dish for children in Tadpur Farm Primary Academy. Now, who would like to try this dish? I have discovered that two Indian girls like myself, who had felt discrimination around food coming from their parents, try Indian food in my lunch. Really? What did you have? cheese. I had chapati and she had puri. What do your friends think, uh, think of your food? Really? Someone tasted my food and, it, and that it. really hurt in my feelings. Nice. Would you like to put the stickers on the map and have a guess and what you think it's from? No, I'm going to put it on the seat. I think it's from Brazil. I think it's from China. My, my parents yeah. made noodles. I like Here it comes. I think it's from India. I think it's more than you. Brought this in your lunchbox to school. Do you think your friends would think it's gross or do you think it would? I don't. I don't know. I think they would think that's the worst thing you've ever seen. I would tell. I would tell. I like. I like it. They wouldn't like it. They wouldn't like it. Why did you guys think it was from India? India. And the meal was from Malaysia. Malaysia. So yeah. if you have a look at what kind is, Malaysia oh, is right God. there. Now where are you thinking this is from? China. I think this is from England because it looks like it. From right? This meal was from not any of this. Pakistan. Oh. What? Pakistan? Well, hands up all those who vote with Pakistan. Yeah. Are you correct? If you would eat the first meal again in a lunchbox or something Definitely. like that. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. What the about the oh, second no. meal? Put your hand up if you oh. would have the second dish again. Mm -mm. Yeah. And how about the last meal we just had with the chicken and the noodles? I would definitely have it. My yeah. plate's clean, so I'm obviously going <coughs> to If you really want to learn these dishes, we'll give them to Miss Finn and we'll give you the recipes. How does that sound? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely and then we can have it at the school dinner. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. Alright, come on. The tuna have shown us that they care more about the taste 
than where the dish has come from. But we still have to take the feelings of others to heart. We should embrace the lunchbox, not be embarrassed.